Long time no speak. What's up, everybody? Old school NYC gamer back once again after a little hiatus of working and whatnot. So I am back to do this video for all you guys and gals out there today. And today is going to be a tag response slash video challenge, courtesy of our friend here within the YouTube gaming community, which is Mark Vahir. And you can see right there, it's for Gyrus. Now, if you want to go check out the whole video of what this is going on here, people, I'm going to leave that link down in the description that is right down there. So, of course, Mark did a video here on Gyrus, and basically the score that needs to be beaten is 72,450. Now, that might seem easy enough, you know, for some people, but for a lot of people, this game is not exactly easy itself. So, without further ado, people, let's uh, start up Gyrus here via MAME. So I'm just going to start it up. Now, of course, before we get into the game itself, I do want to throw a few notes out there for a lot of people who don't know about this game. Now, of course, this was released in the arcades in 1983 by Yoshiki Akamoto. If I pronounced that correctly, I do apologize if I uh, messed that up. Now, of course, as you see here, it's one of like the most infamous shoot 'em up games of the early 80s. And, of course... Uh, a little side note that Akimoto, who actually did this game, he created Time Pilot for Konami prior to this game. And was, of course, licensed over to Century in the United States. And, of course, was ported over to almost every console, every computer back in the day. And, you know, after a lot went down between him and Konami, and due to pay disputes, he was later fired, surprisingly, after the release of this game. Soon after, he joined Capcom and would actually write 1942 in the first Street Fighter game. Hey, who, who would have thunk that, huh? But anyway, let me uh, stop blabbing and start getting to this challenge here, people. So I'm going to uh, turn up the volume a bit so you can hear a little better. And let's put in one credit and let's check out Time Pilot. Now, from looking at Mark Beer's video, I saw that he got up to stage 9 within his challenge. So, of course, you have a bunch of different uh, stages you have to go through to get to the 9 planets within the solar system. Well, of course, in this game, Pluto doesn't count. And from, uh, from what I last heard, Pluto is not a part of the solar system anymore. It's just a little blue, very cold blue marble within space at this rate. Sometimes people, it's good to actually play if you have a uh, arcade control panel or an arcade fighting stick. If you could somehow enable that for MAME, or unless you have a MAME machine yourself, you could totally pull this off. Uh, playing it with a uh, controller is a, not as easy as you would think it would be. And of course, all the elements from the classics are here, like Galaga, for example, which is one I can think of, but this is more, you know, a little more trippy as you're playing this game. You know, Galaga comes to mind, Galaxian, of course. But there's more elements of Galaga, I believe, in this game, because of course, with the stages, you have to go through three stages to get to the challenge stage, just like in Galaga. And of course, the challenge stage, also in Galaga. But this, in a way, is a lot more hyped up version, a lot more intense. 
Because instead of just going from left to right, you're going 360 in this. you can make those jokes if you want. Getting kind of old after uh, quite a few years of that one. Now, if someone did a homebrew of this, it wouldn't look too pretty. how it's supposed to look when you get the perfect. I do got to admit though, it's definitely a lot more challenging just for the fact that you only have a one spaceship and like with Galaga, you have two chances to at least get through your stage. Because once you blow up here, you blow up. And of course, the farther you get in the game, these obstacles are just going to be flying at you left and right with the asteroids and that uh, force field belt right there. Oh, and you see right there, like I said, it's not as easy as you think, people. Nah, I'm just gonna let you guys go away. You're not gonna touch me. Get away. Come on, get away. Oh, and there's Saturn, people. And I could actually admit, for I think for the first time in quite a long time, a good maybe seven, eight years, this is the first time I've actually gotten as far as I can in this game. And I don't remember too much of the challenge, uh, challenge pattern stages. So I'm probably not going to do as good as I thought I would. As you can see right there. And of course, they can just be parked there and still shoot at you, because usually when they're coming at you, they'll start shooting. So you definitely gotta be on the ball here with these, uh, you know, the, the little projectiles and missiles. Go figure. Oh, the 
This looks like this might be my last one, people. Up, oh, and that's it. So as you see there, people, 107,950. So I want to thank Mark for doing this challenge here. And uh, yeah, that's about it, people. So like I said before, I will leave a link down, the uh, video link to this challenge if you uh, pro, uh, pro care to take in it, if that's even a word. But that's about it, people. Like I said, hope you guys and gals out there enjoy the video. If you want to uh, check the video out and also do a video response yourself, you know what to do. And that's about it, people. So have a great day and take care, and I will have more videos soon. Cheers.